yes once again members we are going to de look at uh, roots of quadratic equation and this is the equation that we are going to follow all throughout to understand this topic and i hope you follow very critically for the better understanding of this topic as i'm, uh, I'm starting by now so we have such a question which it's not a question it's an expression which says x squared minus alpha plus beta into brackets x plus alpha beta now in here we have the roots as alpha and beta and the whole of this section is called sum of the products and this one is called the pro it, this one is called the sum of roots and this one is called the product of roots so after explaining that let me rewrite that expression again x squared minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta equals to zero this one is taken as the sum of roots this one is taken as the product of the roots alpha and beta are taken to be our roots uh, for this particular topic uh, let me give examples of which it will be very easy for you to understand what if they say that or we have a question which says that write the sums and products of the roots of the given equations suppose we have this equation which says 3x squared minus 2x minus 7 is equal to 0 now for this case what we are going to do we have to rearrange this equation to be in this kind of form so i'm going to divide by 3 throughout such that i have x squared minus 2 over 3 x minus 7 over 3 is equal to 0 now since it is resembling the equation the main equation which i want then i'm going to compare to tell because they want us to write the sums and the products of the roots now what i'm going to say since this is the sum i'm going to also to pick this and compare with the original equation so i will say from the original equation which says minus alpha plus beta i hope you are following x i'm going to equate it to the the sum of this equation which is negative 2 over 3 x of course the x will cancel and the negatives too which means this time my sum is 2 over 3 for this equation and the product is just automatic the alpha beta it is just negative 7 over 3 I hope you are following and what if we have a part B and we have this equation we have 5x squared plus 11x plus 3 is equal to 0 the first thing we have to make this expression to look as to look 
as the original expression which means if I divide by 5 I'll remain with x squared plus 11 over 5 x plus 3 over 5 is equal to 0 then I'm going to equate the original and the given expression so I'll have negative remember negative alpha plus beta I'm going to equate it to this it is positive 11 over 5x remember also here there is a x all this will die so if I divide by negative the negative will go the other side and my alpha beta will be negative 11 over 5 so this is the sum of the roots so they wanted us to find the values of the sum and products and of course my product will be alpha plus bit oh sorry the sum I've already got it and now the product alpha beta this one will be positive 3 over 5 so particularly or generally if you know the general expression for this uh, roots of quadratic expression you can be able to get the sums and products easily so this is how far I can explain uh, I don't want to complicate things and I think you have understood how we get the sums and the products uh, of such numbers let me give you one more and maybe I can uh, close uh, this video what if I'm given 2x squared plus 5x minus 1 equals to 0 and they want me to get the sum and the product from this equation they want me to get the values I'll first divide by 2 remember this x squared has to be alone its coefficient has to be 1 so I will have 5 over 2x minus a half equals to 0 therefore my sum of the roots which is negative alpha plus beta if you look at the general equation x will equal to a positive 5 over 2 x so the x will cancel then which means alpha plus beta it will equal to negative 5 over 2 so that's my sum of the roots and therefore my product of the roots will be negative a half so thank you very much i hope you have followed very well and uh, this is the easiest way you can learn uh, please subscribe like comment for the growth of this channel thanks